Hey everyone, welcome to my kitchen, bienvenido a mi cocina. Today I'm bringing you a, another traditional um, Cuban recipe called the Elena Rose Sandwich. Hoy le traigo otra receta traditional cubana que se llama el Sandwich Elena Rose. But before we go any further, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on any recipes. Antes de empezar, suscríbete a mi canal y haz clic la campana para no perderte mis videos. For the ingredients I'm using, Hawaiian sweet rolls. Now there are two types of Hawaiian rolls. You have the sliders and then you have the sub rolls. The sub rolls are a lot longer. Traditionally, a um, sweet Cuban roll is used called medianoche bread. But um, in America, it's really difficult to find um, medianoche bread, um, except if you're living in places like Florida. You can also order it online um, if you can't find it. Para los ingredientes necesitamos son pan medianoche, Tradicionalmente se usa pan medianoche, pero um, si no puede encontrarlo, uh, puede usar pan dulce hawaianos. Hay dos tipos de pan dulce hawaianos, los pequeños y los más grandes. So the first thing I'm doing is adding some butter to my pan. And um, I like to brown the insides of the bread as well as the outside. That way my bread is not soggy inside. Le puse un poco de mantequilla en mi um, sartén porque um, voy a dorar la parte interior de mi pan para que um, el pan no esté um, demasiado empapado. Next, I'm going to add a layer of cream cheese. Le vamos a poner una cantidad generosa de queso crema. Next, I'm going to add um, some roasted turkey on top. And if you don't have roasted turkey, you can use um, sliced turkey, deli turkey. Siguiente, le vamos a poner pavo asado. Uh, si no tiene pavo asado, puede usar um, rabanadas de pavo. Next, I'm going to add the strawberry um, preserve. Sometimes I add guava to this because um, that's like my absolute favorite fruit uh, besides mame. Those fruits are found on the Caribbean island. Um, but for the sake of this video, I'm going to just stick to the recipe. So I'm adding strawberry preserve. Siguiente, le voy a poner mamalada de fresas, pero a veces uso mamalada de guayaba porque es mi favorita. Pero en este caso, quiero seguir la receta. Next, we're going to um, add butter on the other side of the bread, and we're going to brown the bread. Now, if you have a, a panini press or a George Foreman grill, you can um, use that. In my case, um, my George Foreman grill isn't working, so I'm going to show you that how you can do it in there regular frying pan. Okay, ahora le vamos a poner un poquito de mantequilla encima del pan um, para dorarlo. Uh, si tiene una máquina de George Foreman, puede usarla. So I'm just going to brown the bread on um, both sides for about a minute just to brown the bread and give it a nice golden color. Voy a dorarlo por un minuto en ambos lados. Now I'm going to take it out the pan and I'm going to plate it. Que rico. Mira esta belleza. Mis amigos, aquí tiene el sandwich Elena Ruz. This looks awesome. No matter how many times I make this sandwich, I'm always like just like, so excited to eat it. <laughs> Well, my friends, I want to thank you for taking the time out to watch this video. Please stay tuned for more upcoming okay, videos. If sandwiches. you uh, like this video, give it a thumbs up and leave a comment below. Follow me on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and Pinterest. Mm -hmm. I also have a website that you can follow me on for okay. recipes, and I'll link first. the description down below. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. Bueno, mis cariños, es hora para yo edme. Si te gusta este video, dale un like y comentario. Si quieres ver más videos como este, suscríbete a mi canal y haz clic la campana para no perderte mis videos. Sígueme en Facebook, Instagram y mi nuevo sitio web con uh, mis recetas.